foolers. Here's one now. Hey, I'm Matt Donnelly, and I have no business being a professional magician. I uh, started as an improviser, improv comedy. I moved to Las Vegas, and as luck would have it, became friends with Penn. So I co-host Penn's podcast, and I've been doing that for about six years. I got into magic on a dare. I kind of was mouthing off and saying, like, I should just learn a trick. And Penn said, you're right, you should. I basically went to every working magician I knew and asked them if they'd teach me one trick. I started combining my comedy with my magic, and it took off quickly. Ta-da! You do know they do this for a living, right? I think it's hilarious to go on Fool Us and mess with my friends. Do I expect them to be really surprised? Absolutely. Joined by a randomly selected member of our audience, here's Matt Donnelly, the mind noodler. Hello, I'm Matt Donnelly. I am a mind noodler, which is not a mind reader. It's like a mind reader plus, okay? <laughs> First step of being a mind noodler is reading minds. That's easy, right? What's your name? Morgan. Morgan, I knew that. I read your mind. No problem. And right over there, I can read Penn's mind. He's thinking, what the hell's Matt doing up there? <laughs> I can read Teller's mind. He's thinking... <laughs> Actually, Morgan... Teller's thinking he hates that joke. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, but we're going to experiment with some mind noodling. Are you a fan of Penn and Teller, Morgan? Yes. So am I. So before we get this experiment started with mind noodling, I want to see if we can get a picture with Penn and Teller, okay? Okay. All right, come on up here. All right, Morgan, switch places with me here. I'm going to take a selfie right here and mark this wonderful occasion. All right, here we go. Let me if I get in there. And beautiful. Now we're going to get to mind noodling, okay? Step one of mind noodling is reading your mind. Step two is the noodling part. Do you know what noodling is? No. Regular noodling is a kind of fishing where you find a wide mouth fish and you don't use a pole, you just shove your whole arm into that fish's mouth and yank that muddy puppy out of the water. He stays on your arm and it's yours. Morgan, that's what I'm going to do to your mind. Oh. Okay? Okay. I'm going to take my own thought and with my mental arm, shove it into your cat mouth fish brain. <laughs> Okay? All right. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to think of something, and you're going to think you thought it. But in fact, I thought it, and I put that thought in your brain. Okay. Okay? All right. Great. Take a look at Teller. I want you to think about how much he weighs. Now, Morgan, I realize I'm putting you on the spot here. I should let you take more of an educated guess. Teller has two pairs of cheeks. Go ahead and grab one of his cheeks. <laughs> nope. 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 Morgan? No. His butt, Morgan. Grab his butt. Seriously? Yes, seriously. <laughs> Morgan. You should now have a pretty good idea of what Teller weighs. All right? But I, I know you do, because I put that thought in your mind. I don't want you to say it out loud. Okay. Because that would be, that'd be offensive to Teller, to, to, to guess his weight out loud to everybody here in this audience, okay? So uh, you have a calculator on your phone? Yes. Open it up. Okay, and what I want you to do is just go right to the numbers and type in what you think he weighs. I don't want to look. Just type it in. It's in? Okay. Mind reading, success. Noodling, way off. I was off by 16 pounds on that guess, but I'll document for science. Minus 16. There we go. All right, Morgan, you and I are going to do better in round two, okay? Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to take a look at Penn. Are you going to make me grab his butt cheek? I'm going to make you do even more than that, Morgan. <laughs> Just go ahead and give Penn a bear hug. Grab him and lift him up. Lift him up! Get that magical Yeti in the sky! Go! <laughs> I don't think I can... I think you can try harder. <laughs> okay, Morgan, you have a pretty good idea of what you think Penn weighs? Yes. Okay, just hit the plus sign. 
Okay. And I don't want to look. Go ahead and enter it into the calculator. It's in. Okay, yeah. Woo! Morgan, mind reading success, and we're getting much closer on the noodling. I was only seven pounds away from that last guess. You think you guessed Penn's weight, but your guess was influenced by my noodling. <laughs> and I think we're going to nail it on round three. Are you excited for round three? Yes. I'm excited for round three. You want to know why, Morgan? Round three is B. Okay? Okay. I've let you pinch teller. I've let you squeeze pen. Now, your choice, free choice. Do you want to ride me like a pony, or do you want me to ride you like a pony? Um, You'll ride me like a pony? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Smart choice, Morgan. I am an amazing pony. So I actually... Come on, Morgan. Morgan, okay. Morgan, great job. Okay. Now you should have a pretty good idea of what I weigh now, yes? Yes. Okay, Morgan. I'm not good with weight. Okay. Morgan, remember, Hopefully, I'm my noodling. So whether you're good with weight or not, doesn't matter, because I put a thought in your brain. Okay. Go ahead. Two. Go on. Two. Fifteen. Two fifteen. Two hundred and fifteen pounds. Do you all think Morgan came up with that figure on her own? Do you think Morgan that all? watching, looking at this frame and thinking, I weigh 215 pounds? <laughs> no, Morgan, we nailed it. It's a full noodle. Okay. Oh, Morgan, listen, I had faith in you. I had more faith in you than you could possibly imagine. I have a prediction that I put in place before this whole thing began. All right? Okay. And I sealed it on my flesh. I want you to hit the equals button on your calculator. Okay. And now, out loud, I want you to say that guess for everyone to hear. 580. Boom. What? <laughs> What'd you say? 580. 580? Okay. Oh, wait, Morgan. We didn't noodle all the way, right? We had some changes on here, right? Okay. So I had minus 16, I had minus 7. That would give me a total of uh, minus 23. And I think 603 minus 23 gives me a total of 580. <laughs> This trick is completely examinable. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> that's your... Uh, yeah, okay. Not totally, everyone. All right, I'll, uh, I'll let you put yourself What's together. Up? What's going on? I, uh... Come here. You know how it works. Oh, yes, I do. All right. So, what's it like performing for your friends, Penn and Teller? You know, I started magic basically on a dare by Penn. And so, put a preview together of my first magic show. And so, I can tell you, don't do your first magic show ever in front of Penn and Teller. <laughs> Teller taught me a rope trick with a knife. I cut my finger open. I bled all over myself. And it did not go well at all. I'm very happy to, be, to get back here and at least do something pretty, pretty good in front of them. All right. Let's see if your friends Penn and Teller figured it out. All right. All right. Penn, Teller, this guy. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Matt Donnelly is my co-host on Penn Sunday School. We do a podcast together every single week. And yet, he has been keeping this from me for months that he's showing up on this show. Oh, I'm learning magic. I'm working on a few new things, Penn. I hope you get to see him someday. Won't that be fun? What tricks are you working on, Matt? Oh, you know, just stuff. <laughs> so you come here after co-hosting my show for, what, seven years? And you've got a trick you're trying to sneak by me? I'll tell you, Matt, it's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty amazing because we've done a beautiful performance that absolutely killed. I've got to tell you, it's astonishing in every single way, but you thinking you can fool us, you rat bastard? <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a great trick, but it didn't add up. And if you think you fooled us, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> no, it does not add up. 
You did not fool us. Isn't that right, Matt? Uh, it's true. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Busted. But it was my lifelong dream to perform for you guys. That's not true either. I <laughs> Because I just started a year ago. <laughs> but it was my lifelong dream to be ridden like a pony on national TV. <laughs> so I thank you. I thank you and I thank you. You didn't fall up, but it was wonderful. Matt Donnelly! You might think we're done. Let me dispel that notion right now. More Penn and Teller fool us when we return.